Greetings in Jesus' name. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to bring to you the word of the Lord. And I believe God is going to bless you today in a greater way. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us seize this opportunity and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We say thank you for this hour and for this opportunity. We say thank you, my Father, for the viewers who have connected to this telecast, my Father. I pray for them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That God, may you touch them afresh. May you bless them. May you do something new in their lives today, King of Glory. As your word comes forth, forth with clarity and with power, let their life be changed. Let their lives be turned around, O oh God. And God, may you anoint me afresh with fresh oil. Because it is the anointing that, that destroys the yoke. I give you the praise and all the glory. Let your Holy Spirit be in control in this session, O oh my Father. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen and amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to talk about knowing God's plan and purpose. Praise the name of Jesus. Knowing God's plan and purpose. It's very much important because the God that we serve is a God of plan and is a God of purpose. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us go to the book of Isaiah 14 verse 24. I will read from NIV uh, version. The Bible says, The Lord Almighty has sworn, Surely, praise the name of Jesus, the Lord Almighty has sworn, surely as, as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has swore to himself that as he has planned, so it will be. And as he has purposed, so it will happen. Praise the name of Jesus. I said we serve a God of purpose and we serve a God of plan. And God's, God has got a purpose for our life. God has got a plan for us as believers, us as the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And he has got a purpose concerning your life, concerning your children, even concerning our nation as Kenya. Because right now we are preparing to go to the general election in the next few, few hours. And God has got a plan for this nation. God has got a plan for the continent of, of Africa. Hallelujah. God has a plan for the whole world. Praise the name of Jesus. And God has a purpose for every one of us. Hallelujah. What is purpose? Purpose is the reason for which something was created. Hallelujah. The reason why something exists. The reason why something was created. Hallelujah. And plan is an intention or decision about, about what one is going to do. Hallelujah. It's an intention or decision about what one is going to do. Praise the name of Jesus. Why? Because God is going to do something new in our life as the body of Christ. God, is, God wants to do something new in your life. That is why the Bible says in the fullness of time, God makes all things beautiful because God works with plan and God works with purpose. He has got a purpose for your life. He has got a purpose for me and for us as the body of Christ. And even uh, uh, as a nation of Kenya, God has a purpose for us. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And purpose is the reason why something exists, why something Something was created and God created you and God created me and he has a reason for our existence. He has got a purpose for our existence. Hallelujah. And right now I want us to look at uh, uh, unto some few scriptures so that as the body of Christ we may operate from the, from the point of knowledge. Hallelujah. From the point of knowledge whereby you know your purpose. You know... You, the purpose of God of your life uh, in your life and why God created you and what God expects from you. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, and I want you to know one thing. Uh, one of the things as a, uh, as a believer, one of the things as a, as a Christian, for you to live a successful life, hallelujah, one of the ways to live as a, sec a successful, successful life as a believer because you have to live a successful life. And in order for you to live a life which is successful, you have to know the purpose of God in your life. You have to know the plan of God in your life, what God is, has in store for you and the purpose of God in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. In the book of Psalms, 33 verse 11. Hallelujah. Psalms 33 verse 11. I'll read from the, from the version of NIV. The Bible says, But the plans of the Lord stands firm, firmly forever. Hallelujah. But the plans of the Lord stands firmly forever. And the purpose of his heart through all generation. Hallelujah. The plans of the Lord stands firmly forever. And the purpose of his heart 
through all generation. Hallelujah. Which means God has a plan and God has a purpose for our generation. Not only this generation, the coming generations. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says is goodness. is from generation to generation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. God's plan will stand forever. God's plan for you and me. God's plan for our country, Kenya, will stand forever. Praise the name of Jesus. Nobody can thwart the plans of God. Nobody can thwart God's purpose for your life. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why Jeremiah 29, 11. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11, the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you. Hallelujah. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Don't sit there. Somebody, like somebody who's confused, rise up and Walk as a child of a king. Walk as a child of a king. Why? Because the God whom we serve is a God who has got good plans for you and good plans for me. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Hallelujah. I have come to announce to you today, God has a plan for you. The country of Kenya, God has a plan for us. The body of Christ all over the world, God has a plan for us. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. The plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Praise the name of Jesus. The, the plans to prosper you and not to harm you. The plans to give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. From this scripture, we can see that God has got, got, has got two plans for us as the body of Christ. The Lord has got, got two plans for us as the children of God. And one of these plans is number one, to prosper you and not to harm you. Praise the name of Jesus. God wants to see you prosper. God wants to see you becoming prosperous. In your marriage, becoming prosperous. In your business, becoming prosperous. In your ministry, becoming prosperous. That is why he says to, to prosper you and not to harm you. Praise the name of the Lord. Even as we are, we are, we are preparing for, for an election in the country of Kenya right now, I want you to know one thing. God has a plan for us. And his plan is to see our country prospering. His, his plan is to see the nation of Kenya prospering. Praise the name of Jesus. And he says... It is not the plan to harm us, but his plan is to make us prosper. Praise the name of Jesus. Number two, it says to give you a hope and a future. To give you a hope and a future. A better future. A brighter future. Hallelujah. Don't sit there and be confused as somebody who has got no future. If you're a child of a king, there is a future for you. There is a future for you. There is a future for this nation. There is a future for the body of Christ. There is a future for your children. Why? Because we serve a living God. And the God that we serve is a God who has got good plan for us. He has got good plan for us to give us a hope and a future. And a better future for that matter. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs 19, 21. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. The Bible says from the NIV translation says, Many are the plans in a, man, in, in, in a person's heart. Many are the plans in a person's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. It is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And I've come to announce to you today that the purpose of God concerning your life will prevail. The purpose of God concerning this nation will prevail. The purpose of God concerning the body of Christ in the nation of Kenya will prevail. And nobody will thwart or hinder or stop God's purpose from coming to, to realization in the body of Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says many other plants in, in a person's heart. But it is, the, it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And how will God's purpose prevail? God's purpose will prevail when you operate in the realm of the Spirit. Hallelujah. When you walk with God... The Bible says, for those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are the sons of God. And these are the sons that God's purpose will prevail in their life. These are the sons that God's purpose will prevail in their business, in their family, wherever they go. It will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And as the body of Christ, we have to operate from the realm of knowledge, whereby we know the plans of God concerning our country. We know the plans of God concerning our family. We know God's plan concerning the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We have to operate from the realm of knowledge. That is what the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We have to come to that realm, realm whereby we operate from the realm of knowledge. Hallelujah. 
And for you to operate in the realm of knowledge, you have to operate in the realm of the supernatural, the realm of the spirit, whereby you know the plans of God concerning your life. Nobody can discourage you. Nothing can discourage you because, you know, God has a plan for you. God has got a future for you. God has got a plan for you and is working behind the scene to bless you, to equip you, and to take you from one realm of glory to another. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to know God's plan. We have to know God's purpose in our life. And in order for us to know God's plan and God's purpose, we have to operate in the realm of the supernatural, in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 17. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 17. The Bible says, when Jesus came into the region of, of Caesarea, Philippine, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I am? Who do men say that I, the son of man, is? Hallelujah. Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Verse 14, it says, So they said, some say John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Some say, uh, 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 other, uh, uh, and others say Jeremiah or one of the, of the prophets. Verse 15, the Bible says, And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Praise the name of Jesus. Which means they used to, they, 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 they were hearing a lot of stuff being said by other people concerning Jesus. Some were saying he's Jeremiah. Some were saying he's, he's Elijah. Some are saying that he's one of the prophets. This is what the disciples were hearing from other people. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will never know God's plan concerning your life if you hear what people are saying. Because what people are saying can mislead you and can mislead you in your, in, in your family, in your marriage, in your life. You have to incline your ears to hear what God says, to hear what the Spirit of God says concerning you. The Bible says, and Jesus asked them a question. People are saying a lot of things about who I am, but who do you say I, uh, the Son of Man is? That is verse 15, the Bible says, and they say to them, but who do you say that I am? Praise the name of Jesus. He asked them a question. And I believe the disciples were, were trying to figure it out. Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? In fact, they asked themselves a question. What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the storms and the, and the sea obey him. And they were asking one another, what kind of a person is this? Praise the name of Jesus. And Jesus asked a question and, and he asked them, people are saying a lot of things about me. But who do you say the son of man is? Praise the name of Jesus. And the disciples are trying to figure it out. They are trying to figure it out. Who, who is this person? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now verse 16. Praise the name of the Lord. Simon was able to operate in the realm of the supernatural. Simon was able to, to log into the mind of God and to know who Christ was. Because Simon was somebody who was very close to Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 16, Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Verse 17, Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. You have to operate in the realm of the Spirit for, for God to reveal His plans to you. For God to reveal who He is to you. For Hallelujah. In order for God to reveal Himself to you, you have to operate in the realm of the Spirit. In the realm of the supernatural. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, Jesus tells him, my, my flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But my Father who is in heaven has revealed this to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The time you begin to operate in the realm of the spirit, God will begin to reveal things to you. God will begin to reveal things to you. The mystery of his kingdom. God will begin to reveal things to you concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your children, concerning your future. God will begin to reveal things to you. Hallelujah. Jesus tells Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. Hallelujah. Anytime you walk in the flesh, anytime you walk in the, in the, in the, in, in, in the desires of the flesh, in the things of the flesh, God cannot reveal himself self to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants to reveal his plans to us as the body of Christ. God wants to reveal himself to us. And in order for him to reveal himself to us, we have to walk and to operate in the realm of the supernatural, in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says for those who are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Praise the name of the Lord. God wants to reveal himself. 
God wants to show himself mighty and able. Even at this time as a country, as the body of Christ, God wants to reveal himself to us. God wants to reveal himself to us. Praise the name of the Lord. God wants to reveal his plans and his purpose in our lives. Hallelujah. And his plan is to give us a better, a better future. His plan is to give us a hope. His plan is to give us blessings after blessings. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He has good plans for us. His plan is to make you prosper. Hallelujah. You shall prosper, my, my brother, my sister. You shall prosper. The works of your hands, whatsoever you lay your hands to do, shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are the seed of Abraham. You are the son of God. You are the child of God. And the son of God lives in you. Christ Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. In the book of Philippians 2 verse 5. The Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. Hallelujah. When you have got the mind of Christ, then you can understand God's plan concerning your life. Then you can understand God's purpose for your life. God's purpose for your marriage. God's purpose for your future. God's purpose for your nation. God's purpose as, as, as a minister in the ministry. You're able to understand his purpose and his plans concerning you. The Bible says, let this mind which was also in you be in, let, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you've got the mind of Christ, then you know God's plan and purpose for your life. Hallelujah. That is what the Bible says. Let this mind be in you. Why? Because God wants you to operate from the realm of the supernatural, whereby you know his plans and you know his plan, you know his plans and you know his purpose concerning your life and concerning your assignment, which God has assigned you to do. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Christ knew who he was. But he humbled himself. He never misused his power or his authority. Christ knew who he was. Hallelujah. People who know who they are, people who know their purpose in life, they don't misuse other people. And a true leader is that leader who knows his purpose. A true leader is that person who has the mind of Christ. The Bible says Christ himself was God. And he took the form of a servant and the likeness of a man. But he humbled himself. He humbled himself. A true leader is that person who has got the mind of Christ. A true leader is that person who has got humility. A, a humble spirit. The Bible says, and Christ humbled himself. Even though he was God. Even though he was God. He took the form of a servant and the likeness of a man. And he humbled himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you. Hallelujah. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And when you have got that mind, you'll understand your purpose. Your purpose as a leader. Your purpose as, as, as a husband in, in, in a marriage. Your purpose as a father in a house. Your purpose as a politician. Because our politicians are, are leaders. And they have to understand their purpose as leaders in this nation. Hallelujah. If you don't know your purpose, you will abuse even the position of leadership that people, people will give you. Because you don't know the purpose of it. Hallelujah. People who don't know the purpose of something, even the purpose of their life, they will abuse it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus knew his purpose. His purpose was, was to come and to save human, human race. His purpose was, was to come and save us from the chains of darkness. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he humbled himself. He humbled himself. A true leader is, is, is he who knows his purpose and is always humble and does not force his will or himself on, on other people. That is a true leader. A true leader is that person who knows his purpose and God's plan in his life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. That is a true leader. Somebody who knows the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Christ had power and he had authority. And he never misused his power. He never misused his authority. The Bible says he took that form of, of a servant. He took, he took the form of a human, human being and he was humble. He was humble. True leaders are humble. True leaders are humble. True leaders are people who know their purpose and they don't force their will on people. Christ never forced himself on people. That is why he said, I have come to bring you life and death. And he says, choose life. Christ never came to force himself on us because he knew who he was. If you know who you are, you don't force yourself on people. 
Because you know your, your identity. You know your purpose. You know your plan. You know God's purpose and plan in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't, you don't compare with other people. You don't compete with other people because you're a different person. You're, 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 you're unique. You are different. Hallelujah. There is no one like you. You are different. You are special in God's hands. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Knowing the purpose of God. Knowing the plan of God concerning your life. Concerning your family. Concerning your call as a believer, as a child of God. Hallelujah. If you know your purpose, if you know your purpose where God has, has, has planted you, maybe as a, as, a, as a Christian leader, as a father, as a polit polit politician, it does not matter any area. That area which God has planted you to be a leader, when you know your purpose, when you know your purpose, you will maximize your potential. You will live to the full, you will live to, 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 to your full uh, potential. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you know who you are. The Bible says, I know who I am. Praise the name of the Lord. You are blessed. You are victorious. You have to come to that realm of understanding who you are. You have to come to that realm of knowing God's purpose and plan in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. In your area of influence, you have to know your, your purpose. The purpose that God has for you in that area of, area of, of your influence. Praise the name of the Lord. And then you begin to maximize your potential. You begin to maximize your potential. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says his plan and his purpose for us is to prosper us and to give us a good future. To give us a hope. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 3. In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 3. I'll read from the uh, New King James Version. The Bible says, let nothing, let nothing be done through selfish ambitions. Hallelujah. Selfish ambition. Selfish ambitions. Why? Because you don't know God's purpose in your life. You, know, you, don't, you don't know God's plan in your life. That is why people are so selfish. The Bible says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition. Or co co coincides, but in loneliness of mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Let nothing be done through selfish ambitions, the Bible says. Or conscient, but in loneliness of mind. Let each, let each esteem others better than himself. A true leader esteems others better than, than himself. They don't comp compete with other people because you know who you are. You know God's plan in your life. You know God's purpose in your life. Hallelujah. You don't compete with people. You don't show, uh, show off to other people. Why? Because the Bible says, let nothing be done through selfish ambitions or co consent. But in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem others better than themselves. A true leader esteems others better than, who, than, than, than himself. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, this is the mind which was also in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says, let this same, same mind be also in you. Praise the name of the Lord. And when you've got the mind of Christ... When you've got the mind of Christ, nothing can discourage you. Nothing can pull you down. Hallelujah. No powers of darkness can discourage you. Because many people don't reach to, the, to, their, to, their, to their full potential because people discourage them. Hallelujah. Circumstances. Situations that, that surrounds them. Hallelujah. So you find that people cannot reach their full potential. Their full ability. Why? Because there are some circumstances around that are discouraging them. But if you have the mind of Christ... If you have the mind of Christ, nothing can discourage you. Nothing can pull you down. Because you will say, I know God has got a good plan for me. Ah, God has got a good plan for me to prosper me, to prosper me, to give me a hope and a future. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to rise up as a child of a king. Be bold. Because when God brought you in this world, he brought you with a purpose and he brought you with a plan. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why Psalms 33 verse 11, the Bible says, But the plans of the Lord stands firm forever. The plans of the Lord stands firm forever. There is nothing that can shake the plans of the Lord concerning your life. Hallelujah. No demon. No witch. Hallelujah. Even the people are speaking bad things concerning your life. Nobody can, can shake or uproot or destroy God's plan concerning your life. Concerning our nation, Kenya. Concerning the body of Christ in this country. No one, nobody, praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, but the plans of the Lord stands firm forever. Stands firm. Praise the name of Jesus. It stands firm forever. And the purpose of his heart through all generation. Hallelujah. 
the purpose of his heart through all generation. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you right now to rise up in faith, to rise up in faith and let your eyes be focused on Jesus Christ because he's the alt and the finish of your faith. He's the alt and the finish of your faith. And the Bible says every good work which God has begun in your life in this nation, in this country called Kenya, in the body of Christ, every good work which God has begun, he will bring it into accomplishment. Praise the name of the Lord. So don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of joy. And begin to celebrate. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. The Bible says the plant of the Lord stands firm forever. Hallelujah. God's plan stands firm forever. And for God's plan and purpose to prevail in your life, you have to walk in the spirit. You have to walk in the realm of the spirit. You have to be that person who is, who is led by the spirit of God. The Bible says, for those who are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. As I want to conclude right now, I want you right now, wherever you are, to know one thing, God has a good plan for you. God has a good plan for your children. Some of you, your children are, are, are in drug drug addiction. Some of your children are, are going through different challenges. Some of your marriages are facing hard challenges. Some of you uh, uh, are, are experiencing difficult moments even in a business place. Oh, my brother, my sister. Some also even in, in, your, in your Christian life. But I want you to know right now, God has a good plan for you. God has a good plan for you. No wonder he says that his plans stands firm forever. His plans stands firm forever. Nothing can shake the plans of the Lord concerning your life. Nobody can thwart the plans of God concerning your marriage, concerning your life, concerning your children. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to pray right now that God's blessing will be upon you, that God's glory will be upon you, that God's plan and purpose concerning your generation will continue, will continue from your children to your children's children. God's plan and purpose will continue forever and ever. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we exalt you. We bless and we magnify your holy name. We say thank you for my viewers right now. There are some who have lost hope. There are some who have lost uh, focus in life. Right now, God may you restore hope in them. Because the Bible says the Lord has got good plans for us to prosper us, to give us a hope and a better future. Give them a hope all right now. Even as a, as, as a country, as we are preparing for, an, a, for election this season, oh God, give us hope as a, as a country. That God, our future, the future of this country is safe. The future of this country is secured in the name of Jesus Christ. The future of our children, the future of the body of Christ in this nation is secured in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Right now, to speak God's blessing in your life. Now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his, his countenance upon you and give you peace in your life. Hallelujah. Right now, for those who want to give their life to Christ Jesus, confess these words. Because you will never know God's plan and purpose in your life until you receive him as your Lord and Savior. And when God comes in your life, he makes all things beautiful. Because he's the only true beautifier. Confess these words. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I confess of my sins. I say no to Satan. I say yes to, to Jesus Christ. With my heart, I, conf with, with my heart I believe that he's Lord. And I believe that he, raised, he, was, he was raised from the dead. With my mouth I confess that he is Lord. He is Lord over my life, over my family, over everything that, that concerns me. Christ Jesus, come and live in me. Give me a new life. Give, me, give my life a new meaning. And Lord, come and live in me. In the name of Jesus Christ, can somebody say amen. If you have confessed those words, I believe you're born again. I believe God will give you, you will give your life a new, a new, a new meaning. God will give your life a new direction and will encounter the blessings of the Lord in your life like never before. Get in touch with us. If you need prayers, get in touch with us. We'll pray with you. If you need counseling, we'll stand with you. We are here for you and we care for you. Till next time, God bless you and his peace be upon you. Shalom. <music>